Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue with the reference materials. I think we're still going through the Sams, let's see. Yes, because we are on the SA6 Gainful. SA6 Gainful, title SA6 Gainful, 9M9 or 9M336 Cub. Type short range ground based ramjet powered theater defense missile. Development development of a divisional air defense missile known as the ZRK-SD hub or Badrat was begun by the Toropov's OKB-134 Design Bureau at Tashino in 1959. The system was intended to replace the S-60 57mm radar directed guns used by the former Soviet ground forces. For several reasons, development of the Cub fell behind schedule in the early 1960s, one of these being the Design Bureau also received a contract in 1959 to study the possibility of copying the US AIM-9B Sidewinder on the basis of two examples obtained from China. As a result of this and certain development problems, prototype testing of the missile, the Cub 9M9, did not take place until 1965. Initial deployment of trials units followed in 1967, but continuing problems prolonged the acceptance phase. In spite of the problems, the Cub system was first publicly seen in Moscow in November 1967 and it received the NATO designation SA-6 Gainful. Description: The SA-6 is quite different from other Russian SAMs in that it has four long slender tube air inlet ducts mounted mid-body between the wings. At mid-body there are four clipped triangular movable wings for pitch and yaw control and just forward of the jettisonable boat tail are four inline clipped delta fins with ailerons for roll control. The missile is 5.8 meters long, has a body diameter of 0.34 meters, and with a 59 kg HE fragmentation warhead weighs 600 kg at launch. Specifications, length 5.8 meters, body diameter 0.34 meters, launch weight 600 kg, warhead 59 kg HE fragmentation, guidance, command, and semi-active radar, Falchion Ramjet, range 25 kilometers. Here we can see three missiles on a tracked carrier. We have a missile being launched and another tracked carrier here. And in our 3D view, we can see it's actually pretty close to, <laughs> relatively speaking at least, it's pretty close to what's depicted in the photos. They even made this wireframe out for the uh, the, the actual launch rails, so it's pretty neat. The only thing they're missing is the little boxes there, but I think I can forgive them for that. All in all, it's pretty detailed considering it's A, a ground unit, B, a SAM unit, C, a Russian ground unit. <laughs> so. so, with that, I think that will conclude our first episode for today. So with that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there. And we'll see you then.